some cobalt blue okay I already have some phthalo blue on my palette so I'm just going to take a little cobalt and in order to get a nice effect now we need a nice dark sky in the background okay so let's take some cobalt some of the phthalo and let's get plenty of white <coughs> excuse me a little bit of white I'm not going to go up very blue with this now this is, there's a bit of a grey in this isn't there let's take a little bit of black let me try that and you can see now my canvas is really really dry here so I'm using plenty of thinners in all of this now I'll put a slightly lighter colour towards the horizon line okay as it comes up it's going to darken so I'm going to take more phthalo blue and then to take the vibrancy out of that I'm going to add a hint of black <coughs> excuse me okay and I'm going to adjust that getting a nice dark colour up on top and as it comes down then add little amounts of white okay and I'm just going very simple with this now, very simple, not nothing too fussy or anything like that. We could also put a suggestion of a few clouds in there if you want. We'll um, you know we'll we'll have a go and see what happens. Okay, now how's this? Are we happy enough with this? I'm going to darken it slightly up on top. Cobalt, some phthalo, and a hint of black, okay? Now it's only just slightly richer, look, you see? Just a little bit, that's all. And I might even take a little black into that mix and add a little darker shade just on the left hand side there even to suggest a darker sky in the background popping through here and there okay now we have a nice simple background there don't we I'm going to switch brushes and start popping in uh, a couple of a couple of little clouds let's say here and there but I'm going to take my small stubby brush small flat brush and I'm going to pop some slightly lighter colours a little bit of white a little phthalo blue a tiny amount of black I don't want it too bright but light enough that you know it's just kind of clouds up in the sky do you know what I mean? let's, uh, let's try this now so going across, wiggling it, sort of, and tapering it off into the distance. They're very flat kind of clouds. They're way, way off in the distance, and when something is very far away, they tend to get, they tend to get very flat, almost, that kind of a way. I'm going to leave it, taper, and disappear off up onto one side up here, okay? And I'm going to just pop a few and it's very loose you see I'm almost I'm using a very dry brush here now and I'm just letting the canvas touch the paint kind of here and there alright I'm not putting on very thick bands of colour at all I'm barely touching the canvas as if you're holding a feather in your hand okay that kind of effect and let's put one or two over on this side kind of disappearing off again And I suppose it's about the randomness of the clothes um, and not having too many clothes exactly the same here and there. So I know like a, a, a lot of beginners and people who are kind of starting out with skies and that, they tend to put lots of similar lines just like this, one, two, three, and it just looks exactly the same. Just try to remember to make it kind of as random as you can. 
Uh, no, not too random, obviously. They have to have some bit of direction in the sky. But <clears throat> just kind of let your brush dance around here and there on the canvas and not kind of keep everything too uniform. That's the, that's the word I'm looking for, uniform. Now that's enough, I think that's enough for the sky, just to kind of keep it nice and simple. I'm going to go now and start the moon and do the moon. The moon is very whitey. I can see a Naples yellow in the moon. I don't know if you can, but I can. I can see a very rich Naples yellow with a hint of crimson, perhaps, or a hint of cyanide. Uh, let me see. I'll try a hint of crimson, I think, just for now. Just try this and see. Naples yellow, hint of crimson. And there's a lot of Naples yellow in this, believe it or not. Let's just go, let's just go for it, yes? Now ideally you should leave the blue dry in the background, but my canvas is really so dry that the paint has kind of almost begun to soak in and it's covering really well. So I don't need, I don't think I need to leave this dry for too long. And you can see I'm picking up the blue, that's okay, I can just keep going and cleaning my brush and adding more and more colour into it as I need, okay? Not to worry. Now you can see we have a lot of patching on, this, on the moon, don't we? I'm going to start now with just taking a bit of white with the tip of my brush, okay? Just little dabs of white. And I'm going to just pop some little white on one side. It seems as if the sun is kind of catching it from one angle. So the sun seems to be kind of more over on the right hand side. It seems to be sort of brighter on the right hand side. That's probably just the dots on the moon itself, craters and that kind of thing. So, but I'll just kind of put this bright colour on one side first, okay then I'm going to take some Naples yellow and I'm going to just pop some Naples yellow in here and there now then I'm going to pop some <coughs> I'm going to take a smaller brush actually a small pointy brush I'm going to take some Sienna with the Naples yellow, maybe a little burnt umber, even a touch of black. I'm going for a very browny kind of a grey, okay? And a little white. And I'm going to just, now will I zoom in on this for you? Slightly. There. Better. And I'm just going to use this and I'm going to just create that kind of effect on the moon. You see that? All the patchiness that's there. I don't know how this is looking. I hope it's okay. A little bit up there. And pop a little just over here. I, I can see a very bright spot on one area on the moon. I'm going to clean my brush and pick up some white. I'm going to pop some white just in. There's a very bright spot there, isn't there? And let that kind of fade outwards. I suppose the painting really is more or less kind of focused on the moon rather than anything else. Um, I'll just take a tiny bit of cadmium yellow there for a moment, okay? And I just want to get a very whitey yellow. 
very very white very bright white take some cadmium yellow and lots of white okay as I can see there's just that really very bright whitey color but it's not white it's kind of a yellow isn't it okay I'll clean my brush again take more white Then I pop some white in, right in the centre there. Now how's that? Well, I suppose it's not too bad, is it? Or a little moon. I hope that's showing all okay now where you are there. Let me zoom back a little bit just to show you. Okay. And put more white just there. And there's a good old moon up in the sky. Now I know it's not perfect, okay, because I have a very rough grain on my canvas and you really need lots of thin paint to get this nice and round. But you can kind of get the idea, I hope. I hope you can. Put another bit there, just to brighten it slightly. <clears throat> right, moving on. Let's go down and do the bottom water down here. And it's dark, isn't it? It's a nice dark ocean. Let's take some phthalo blue and some cobalt and a little black. Okay, now I'll start from the centre, work my way out like this. over here right across now we could just paint right across over where that moon reflection is as well just paint right across over it okay what the heck let's do it now I'm using very watery thin paint for this because my canvas is very dry as I said earlier but if your canvas is not very dry, you can just use a little, okay? Just a little paint. Now I need to get more phthalo <coughs> blue. One of my favourite colours, phthalo blue. There we go. Plenty of it. We get some more of that. Phthalo blue. A little black. So now you can see we have a nice simple ocean there, don't we? And what I'm going to do next is take a small flattish kind of a brush, okay? If you have a small flat stubby, <coughs> all the better. Let me get some coffee. But something with a decent flattish kind of a tip on it, okay? And I'm just going to take some black. And I'm going to mix lots of this now, okay? Mix plenty of this. Some black, some sailor blue. But it's going to be very, very blacky. Alright? And I'm going to put in a suggestion of a wave. Kind of going across here, okay? I'm going to soften it out. So I'm coming down at a very slight angle and then softening it out. Now again, my canvas is really dry, so this is a lot more difficult to do than it would otherwise be.
but it's just a tutorial and um, this is not something that I'm going to be keeping or selling or anything like that so I just said I'd use a simple dark canvas for this and I'm just going to put in a suggestion of some movement in the water here as well okay I'm just kind of flicking my brush left and right over that dry canvas soften it in with your finger a little and then I could take a small pointy brush and I can go up and just create some little ripples in the water little crests of waves off in the distance just just to give it a bit of detail well not detail even but just to show you the impression of the water moving around lots of movement I'm going to go very dark in here with some of these right just in under that wave just here and there Now the next thing I want to do is take some very bright white and I'm going to take a touch of phthalo blue and I'm going to just add a little light on the tip of that wave just here and there okay. I'm going to come down at a slight kind of a curve as if it's curving over and then softening it off okay just to give you the impression of a little crest tiny tiny crest of the wave just starting to form do you know what I mean? and then soften it across with your finger that's nice, it just gives you a nice effect, doesn't it? Now, when doing the reflection of the moon, on the photograph you can see it's kind of a yellow. Let me just take a bit of yellow and some blue with a little white. So I have a very brightly kind of a yellowy green almost. I need a bit more blue in that. I'll start with this light kind of a bluey colour first, okay? Let me get some more phthalo blue. I'm just going to give it a little wiggle from side to side. Look, that's all I'm going to do. Just a little bit first, just here and there. Then I'm going to move on to more a yellow colour. Okay, so I clean the brush. Still using a pointy brush, let's get some white and some Naples yellow. I'm just going to stick with Naples yellow because it's nice and subtle, it's a nice subtle colour to use. And let's just pop some of that in here and there. up to the horizon line it goes right out doesn't it let's soften it out and then let's just bring it down like this you could even use your palette knife for something like this as well so let's try it nice clean palette knife I do have some green left from the last time so I'm just going to give it a quick wipe on some tissue here and uh, let's take a little of the Naples yellow and some of the white
perhaps a tiny amount of cad yellow now the tiniest amount really and let's just go across here and there look just leave it dance on the canvas now it's not too bad is it Just in the center I'm going to give it a slight pull, okay, just a little, and then I'm going to go across the horizon line again like this, and I'm going to kind of soften it off down with my finger, okay. Now we have a very simple scene there of a moonlit sky. Would you agree? Take a bit of cad, oh sorry, a little bit of Naples yellow and white. And just pop a little of that on some of these waves falling over. Okay. A nice simple moonless sky. I hope you enjoyed it. And put a bit more white up in that moon, just on that patch there. You could probably even put a little dab of cadmium yellow in there, just to really make it sort of illuminate. Let me just try it. A little cadmium yellow like that, and then some white over it, and we'll mix them together. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? So I would say that's fine. I, you know, you know, you, you could go into a lot more detail yourself if you want. Um, I don't really feel the need to go into loads of detail with this. It's just this for me is more or less just a kind of a sketch um, to a pre-painting. Perhaps I could do maybe a bigger one of this, but I know, I know, I already have one of this type of a painting on my channel, something very similar. So I don't kind of feel the need to paint it twice, do you know what I mean? Um, perhaps a different setting or something, a different mood, a different scene uh, with a moonlight, even a landscape or something, um, a forest perhaps, but this is fine for me. This is, this is all I need. You could put something like a boat or something in there um, with a reflection on the moon or something like that. If you want, you could do something like that. I think that's fine. I think for what it is, it's absolutely fine. Let me zoom in and show you what we have painted. There. Nice and simple. Okay? And I zoom out and I show you the other one. 